What's up Shatnatics? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Shakira. Welcome. This is officially the first video for 2020 and I am super excited. <laughs> In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I created this beautiful, versatile crochet bob spring twist. And I know it looks like individual, but that was the point. So I'm going to be showing you guys how I created this look. So let me know if you guys are going to recreate it. If you recreate it, tag me on Instagram and follow me while you are at it. <laughs> if you want to see how I created this look, then continue watching. So the first thing I am doing is creating the braiding pattern that will allow my crochet hairstyle to be versatile. It's all about the base, about the base, guys. <laughs> so I am creating some individual plaits around my hairline in the front, the sides, and the back. Basically around the circumference of my head. As this is a hairstyle I want to keep in my hair for a while, I'm using beeswax to help me clean up my part instead of using my jam or edge control. Everything that I'm using in this video will be in my description bar below. Most of them might be affiliate links, which means I am not sponsored by these companies in any way, shape or form, but I will get a very small commission if you guys decide to use my links. This is just Amazon's way of saying thank you very much Shakira for referring your viewers to our platform. So if you guys decide to purchase using my links, thank you very much. So now that I'm finished with my individuals around my head, I'm not going to corner my hair like I usually would when I'm doing crochet. Instead, I'm going to braid my hair horizontally, almost like if I'm doing a mohawk. So I'm just going to continue braiding my hair horizontally until I reach to the top and where I want my part to be. I'm going to be doing a side part for this hairstyle but like I said it's very versatile so you can still switch it up if you do it just like how I'm doing it. I want my side part to be and as you guys can see I already have an individual braid so I'm going to create a second one and while I am braiding the second individual braid I'm going to join the first one into the second one and then I'm going to create a third individual braid and I'm going to join the second individual braid into the third individual braid. I'm going to continue this process until it looks like a chopped up cornrow for lack of a better word or a stitch braid type of style so when you're finished with your braiding process it should look similar to what i have right here so i ended up using two different brands of spring twist to complete this hairstyle because i didn't have enough of either one of them to choose from so I am starting with the Beyond Beauty for no particular reason and it came with three packs and this is how one of the pack looks. And to start my hair I'm going to cut each strand into two because it's a bob hairstyle and I don't want the back of my hair to be long. For the first row in the back, I'm just going to make sure each individual plait has a spring twist on it to give the illusion of individual twists. 
the row directly above that row i'm going to do one finger width apart and for the rest i'm going to do two finger widths apart but when i get to the top i will explain to you guys and show you guys what i mean by one finger width and two finger widths So when I get to about this point, I'm not going to be cutting the hair in half anymore. I'm going to install it just like how it is, twist it up first, and then I'm going to cut it where I want the hair to lay depending on how long I want it to be. So this is what I mean by two finger widths. I'm using two of my fingers to measure the distance between each twist and one finger width will be using one finger to measure the distance between each twist. When I got to about this point, I was getting really bored, so I decided to install the hair in my whole head first and then do the twisting process after. So you can do like what I did, or you can just continue installing and twisting, installing and twisting. It does really matter. At the end of the day, it's basically the same thing. I didn't want my hair to be super long, but I didn't want it to be super short either, so this length works fine for me because I can still put my hair in a ponytail whenever I feel like. And I absolutely love it. I'm feeling this look. I'm feeling the vibe. I love this hairstyle. Thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe and hit the bell to be notified every time i upload a new tutorial like comment and share see you in my next video bye